Hey, poker people, thank you so much for tuning in to another Walking Wednesday episode. So I just finished playing a little session of uh, two tabling some six max 25 NL. And I was doing this on ACR, America's Card Room, of course. And on one of the tables, I had a very loose, aggressive player to my right. They were doing a ton of open races, a ton of three bets, right? And this is one thing that I really try to do uh, when I have position on those loose, aggressive players is I do a lot of in position calling when they open in the early position. I might call on the button and the cutoff a little bit more often uh, or, you know, even in the MP if I don't expect a lot of three bets after me. And the reason why I do this is because I look for good hands that are pretty floppable hands, ones that are easy to play post flop, but ha that have a, a lot of flop potential. For example, like six, seven suited, ace, five suited, stuff like that, right? Now, all of these kinds of hands, if the opponent is super loose aggressive and is opening like a really wide range, sure, I could be three bet bluffing with those types of hands, with the suited broadways, the suited aces, the medium pocket pairs. I could do that. And if they do end up folding, great. I took down the three uh, plus the 1.5. So 4.5 big blinds I took down for that three bet, right? But if I'm playing my hands well and I'm uh, choosing good spots to enter the pot in with my calls, then I have a lot of good post flop money made potential here because if I'm lucky enough to make a call on the cutoff or the button and the blinds both fold, great, I'm heads up against a loose aggressive player. Now, oftentimes these loose aggressive players, they don't know when to quit. They follow up um, their pre-flop aggression with flop turn and river aggression over and over again just in an effort to get you to fold your hand. Um, when you're up against this kind of player, a post-flop spewer, you really want to give them the opportunity to spew their chips at you. As soon as you hit that pair, um, you're just gonna call down um, the flop turn and river. Now it can be a little scary, especially if they start betting big, but you gotta know your opponent, right? If they're bigger bets, two thirds, three quarter, full pot, if that means they have top pair or greater, right, then fold with your under pair, right? But if they're just betting one quarter to one third to half pot, uh, like a standard quote unquote standard bet that they make with bluffs, then go ahead and call down with your second pair and your weak top pair hands. I made so much money off of this one opponent. Not, I didn't get his entire stack, but I got 60 big blinds out of his 100 big blind stack uh, just by letting him spew off, just by calling post flop with some uh, showdown worthy hands. Um, so if you don't know how to take advantage of the super loose aggressives at your tables, that is one strategy that you can employ and give it a shot. But here's the thing. You don't want to do this so much when you're out of position. So you don't want to be calling those lags from the blinds all that often. So you want them on your right and, you know, preferably one seat directly to your right or two seats over um, and then call them when you have that position so you can take advantage of their post flop spew. Alrighty, thanks again for listening, everybody. Um, I will be back later this week with another Q&A, episode number 201. And of course, please pick up, if you haven't already, Preflop Online Poker. You can get it on Amazon in audiobook format, paperback, and of course, ebook. Alrighty, y'all, peace out.